Your children are going to be lovely. They're going to be kind to each other and they're going to laugh and smile at the camera and your bribes are going to work and it's going to be great. Except that never freaking happens. and running and thriving your weekly source of motivation and inspiration to help you get your mind body and business up and running and thriving my name is Whitney Abraham certified faster way coach and business coach and it's my mission to do just that help you get your mind body and business up and running and thriving and today I want to talk to you about expectations oh they are so dangerous you guys picture it picture it in your mind you have this idea of what family photo day is gonna look like You've picked out all the matching outfits and you've got everybody organized. And today's the day where your husband's gonna show up and magically have an iron shirt come out of his closet of, of his own accord. He's gonna leave his dad's shoes at home. Your children are gonna be lovely. They're gonna be kind to each other and they're gonna laugh and smile at the camera and your bribes are gonna work and it's gonna be great. Except that never freaking happens. And all that you've done is you set a really high bar for other people to meet. And I'm guessing you probably didn't communicate that expectation to them. You built up this moment in your head, it's gonna be perfect. When really, nothing is perfect. And you have essentially put your happiness in their hands. That is so dangerous. It is so hard for you and it's unfair to them. I want you to think about this. What is the one thing, what is the one outcome that needs to happen from that day? You simply just need to remember you need to remember the moment when they were small and messy and you need to remember that it was hard and you kind of do want to commemorate the fact that your husband went through that period where he totally embraced his dadhood tube socks and all <laughs> okay so if you can focus on what's important what the important outcome is of that moment instead of how everybody's going to show up perfect and the expectation is there you're going to be so much happier think about it this way what if you're at work what if you're at work and you are starting a new project and that requires you to learn new skills and you think you're gonna knock it out of the park the very first time you try it. Probably not, sis. Probably gonna take you some time. You're probably gonna waste a lot of time learning a new skill if you start by saying, I'm going to efficiently and effectively get this done on the first try, you set yourself up for failure yet again. What about this? What about your house? Do you set unrealistic expectations like it's always going to be clean and they're always going to put their toys away or you know why can't you why can't you put the freaking dishes in the dishwasher instead of in the sink right these are expectations if you haven't communicated effectively what your expectation is you're setting yourself up for failure also what if you have a colleague and you're like i really wish that karen would just do it the right freaking way the first time. Well, did you tell Karen how to do it? Or do you just tell her to do it? Okay, hate to be the bearer of not bad news, but it's on you to communicate effectively what you need. And again, it's on you to check yourself before you wreck yourself. Because nine times out of 10, those expectations, those are completely unrealistic and unfair. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to ask yourself, number one, Am I having an unrealistic expectation? An unrealistic expectation alert. Stop, check yourself. Number two, I want you to remind yourself of what you can control in this moment. It's your attitude. That's it. Your attitude is the only thing you control. Number three, I want you to let the rest go and enjoy yourself. I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, please make sure you share it with a friend and subscribe. We'll talk soon.